Hello and welcome to a new tea session with Tea Addicts. My name is Jürgen and I'm doing a quick video about how long it takes for water after it has boiled to cool down to a certain temperature. Because, um, well, preparing tea is not related to any witchcraft. You don't need any special equipment. You just need like some kind of a pot and tea leaves and hot water. And how you design everything around it and what kind of devices or equipment you use. It's just a matter of taste and personal needs. And of course I have a water boiler or we, we use one that um, you can preset the temperature. It makes everything a little bit easier, but not everybody has something like this. And then maybe somebody has a, a design object like this one. No presets possible, so it's, it's just boiling hot. And um, then how do you prepare a tea that is supposed to have maybe 90 degrees or 80 or 70, 60, some Japanese green teas, they are like brewed with like almost cold water, you could say. And um, yeah, so, so the idea is to just check out and, and, and try to find out how long does it take for a certain amount of boiling hot water to cool down. And um, well, um, I think first I will boil the water and um, then we'll check that it's like all boiling. I, I will use like three different amounts of water. In here we have half a liter and the other two um, have uh, one liter and one and a half liters of hot water. And then we'll see how long does it take to cool down the water. And it's just to, to get an idea of how you could manage without preset water boilers or like the, the, the fancy equipment. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's boil the water. So... All three amounts of water have been boiling just now and I just have a look at the time. This one... So... Half a liter of boiling water. One liter of boiling water one and a half liters of boiling water. Maybe we open the thing so it cools down a little bit quicker. And I want to brew a white tea, Yabao. So you can see what we're drinking. I'll just use a handful and then we need 90 degrees of water and let's see so with this one still 96 after almost three minutes one and a half liters of water also around 96 I guess this one will cool down much quicker because it's just half a liter and, and it's just below 90 Let's see how long we have to wait until the water has cooled down to 80, 70 degrees, maybe 60 degrees. Maybe I can prepare the pot with the Japanese tea. I would love to use 70 degrees in this one. And for this one I use the scales. We use about five to six grams. Yeah. It's a shincha from the 
great region of Kyoto in Japan, Shinzo of 2019. Almost five minutes, let's see. Half a liter of water, 83 degrees. 91 and one and a half liters. 92, 93. This one has a much greater surface where the cool air can cool down the hot water. This one is cooling down a little bit quicker. We're still waiting. Seven minutes. And this one we are already below 80 degrees. 86, 87. Also below 90. After eight minutes, it's just 89. I'll use that one now. I would we'll brew the tea for maybe two minutes. Let's see about the water temperature of one and a half liters after almost 10 minutes. 86 degrees. With one liter it's 82. It's already down to 71, 72 degrees. <laughs> That's an interesting experiment. I've never done this before. I've always talked about it. Like one degree, one minute, roundabout, saying after 10 minutes it's 90 degrees, after 20 minutes it's 80 degrees. Depends if you open up or if you leave it closed. Depends on the amount of water. Let's have some tea. I have some tea, tasty tea, I love it. <laughs> oh, almost, almost 80 degrees after 15 minutes, more than 15 minutes. Here we have 75, 76, 65. What you also can do is touch on the outside, I usually like to do that. And there's, there's a difference you can feel. It's like this one is getting closer to 70. Because 70 is not that uncomfortable when you touch it from the outside. I, I use it with the back of my hand, like this. And this is still uncomfortable. Like it feels like 80. And this... It's alright. It's, it's... Yeah, this is like how 70 degrees might feel. 20 minutes waiting. It's just exactly 70 degrees. 75 the thing is it cools down like the, the first five degrees even the first 10 degrees is really quick like from boiling to 90 degrees it was less than 10 minutes if you're preparing a small cup of tea or a small pot of tea like this um, I guess one liter is a good amount because um, then you can have a second round third round just right away and um, if the water cools down a little bit, it doesn't matter for, like, example, a, a Japanese green tea. So what I typically use as an amount of water is like between half a liter when it's supposed to be like a quick thing and one liter if I will sit down and have like two or three rounds and then I rather boil again and, and use fresh water again. And then the waiting time is not so long. I usually trust my feelings like this is already well below 70 after 26 minutes 65 66 I mean it takes much more energy to boil one and a half liters of water and then it takes a, quite a longer time to cool down it's still not down to 70 it's 71 72 degrees I will use that water now <laughs> and um, brew this fantastic shincha for one minute. As I said, it's no witchcraft to prepare tea. <clears throat> On the contrary, it's 
just an easy thing to do and I suppose that you go with your guts when, when you prepare tea. Um, I think it's the most fun and then again you can discover maybe the same tea every day in a, in a new perspective. Sometimes the water is a little bit more hot, a little bit colder or steeping time. You, you also can like use a timer or scales, but you don't need to have that. You can just brew your tea and enjoy it and experience it every day new, like this one. I guess that's it for now. Enjoy your tea. See you soon. Goodbye.